What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Palmerization, guys. You know what we do. I am currently in Cleveland, Ohio. If you haven't noticed, I'm bundled up because it is pretty cold. And I've got to see my first set of snow for the year. But in this video, guys, I have a lot of questions, everything that uh, people ask. And actually, it's a giveaway for the winner of the Palmerization Pale Magnum Mats. So, well, drum roll, please. The winner of the mat is Jane Sarton. Thank you, my fellow material man. It means a lot to have all y'all's my phone materials and everything. You know, if you ain't a fellow subscriber, guys, smash that subscribe button and be one of my fellow materials and so we can fuse together. But anyway, James, you're a lucky winner. I'll be reaching out to you. How would you like to get the mat? How would you like me to sign it? All that extra, all that included. And James' question is, and I got paper wrote out. That way I wouldn't forget nothing. James' question was, I have a question. Would you like to sign a secret adamant pair of research? Man, I'd love to. I have no problem signing that. Um, I mean, if you got the car, now I come by and see you. Uh, stuff like that. If I'm on my roads, I have no problem signing that. More than welcome to, man. That, that's amazing. You actually get a signed mat, too. So you got two for one right there. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, going through all the lists of the questions, just remember, guys, ask me more questions i love doing more videos like this let y'all get to know me it don't have to be Yu-Gi-Oh relevant you can ask me any kind of questions i'm open y'all y'all are my family you know they are my fellow materials i couldn't be doing this without y'all so another question i have this is from max just plain max he says if you could own one of the millennium items what would it be and why mine would be the key uh if i had to pick one of the millennium items i would go with the i because Pegasus is just a baller. Pegasus is just freaking awesome. Plus, uh, knowledge is power. I think that was the reason why he was so good in Yu-Gi-Oh. Granted, he was the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, or monsters, battle monsters, whatever you want to call it. But it's just that, that knowing what your opponent had in their hand to dictate how you play the game. And we have several cards of that in Yu-Gi-Oh now that do the same thing. Drag down from the grave, uh, exchange, TTT. Uh, some cards even got like special rulings, you know, Mind Crush, for example. But I think that would probably be the best thing, I think, to me. If I couldn't have the eye, because I would be painful, you know, ripping out your eyeball, putting an eye in. Um, I'd probably go with... I'd probably go with the rod. I think the rod's pretty badass, man. You'd be like a pimp, just walking around with that rod and shit. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, next question is from JJ42083. How long have you been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! card game? Well, uh, I was born April 18th, 1990. That is my birthday. And I've been playing it ever since Yu-Gi-Oh! came out. Back when it was like in the 99. So I was 9 years old. I was straight in middle school. I was playing it. Back then, I didn't know the rules like I do now. Um, you know, but it was just... I've, I've been like ever since. Now, granted, there was a grace period where I didn't get to play as much. Uh, from 2012 to 2015, I was in the military. Uh, I did serve. So there was a spit time that I did not know nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I kind of missed out a lot of things people scarred about, like, you know, Dragon Rulers. I wasn't around for that. Uh, I wasn't really around for the XZ format and stuff like that. There's a lot of things I missed because of military and a lot of family things. So... I, when I got out of the military, I came back into the game. Uh, scary enough, I came back when it was like pendulum format. Uh, you know, it was just tier, pretty much tier zero because it was pure zodiacs and pendulums. That's all it was. And uh, at that time, I was playing fluffles. So it was pretty cool. I actually OTK'd a lot back then. Um, I mean, things change. It's crazy how much things change, guys. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of like my go-to deck coming back. I was playing Fluffles. I've always been a fusion synchro person. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh, GX, and D uh, 5Ds, that, that's always going to be my shit. Everything else I can just care less about. Uh, next question is going to be from Uzi Gaming. Who's your favorite character from Pegasus Island Error? Mine is Pegasus. Now, granted, I did talk about Pegasus uh, just being the, you know, the boss like he was, but he's kind of cheating in a way. And not trying to sound kind of anticlimactic, but I, I like Joey Wheeler. Joey Wheeler was my motherfucking dog right there. That guy was, I mean, excuse my language or everything, but that man, he literally was the underdog. He didn't play the best cards. He was literally playing cards that made them work. Uh, granted, some were luck-based, but honestly, this card game is luck-based. Everything we do is luck-based in the card game. Your draws, uh, granted, you can increase your odds by, you know, your deck ratio, how you build your deck and your side deck, stuff like that. But 
I gotta give it to Joey Wheeler. Joey Wheeler, he went through so much shit. He went through so much more than anybody else in the show. Uh, he didn't care to stand up to the top dog uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'd be the same way, man. It's like, if there's somebody says they're the best in area, I'd be like, all right, let me play you. And if they want to play me, I was like, I'll call them out. I was like, I'll play you all day long. And there's been a few I know in certain areas. I'm not going to mention names. But I know local areas will say they're the best. I've whooped them. They won't admit it, but I've whooped them. And you know what? I've lost too. Nobody's perfect, man. Everybody's going to lose. I'll be the first one to tell you that. We all lose. We all win some. But that's how you get better at the game. The more you play, the better you get back. Next question is from Eli Hall. When do you think co-talkers are going to be meta? And if they are, will you play them? I think co-talkers are a really great road deck right now. They got a lot of support with them. They keep making support for them. Uh, I think there's like a few cards from the OCG they need that would probably help them a lot. And I like to build them. I just got other decks in my mind, other stuff to do uh, to, to play with. If I ever had you know, free time to really look into it and dig into it, I probably would. Uh, there at one point I was playing Salomon Greats for fun. Um, but yeah, if I had to really look down into it, I probably would at one point. And I think maybe if they can actually just make some broken cards for them, yeah, I think they could be really good. But as a rogue contender, they're they're topping the rogue. I give them rogue contenders all day. Next one is from J.C. Pinkle, Pinkleton. Sorry, I'm butchering names by anybody here. I apologize. What is your favorite fusion monster in the whole game? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, man. I, I love my fusions. Um, ooh, uh, if I had to pick modern era, you know, t today, I would have to give the Thunder Dragon Colossus. Man, Konami Con, give me Colossus back. Give him back. I know he's behind a band wall right now, but Thunder Dragon Colossus is definitely up there as one of my most favorite fusions of all time. Um, but if I had to give a fusion all around, ooh, man, that's tough. I have to, like the OG, I'd have to give a thousand hours restrict. Thousand hours restrict is just an OG baller. I mean, it goes back to Pegasus too, man. So I can't say much there, but it just he was a balling card. He's still a baller card gay. I'll play Instant Fusion, Thousand Eyes. Yeah, even Millennium Eyes, man. They're both, yeah, those are just balling cards, man. All those eyes and everything. So yeah, those, those are definitely up there as my top, top fusions ever more than anything. Uh, the next one is going to be my last one, guys. So, don't forget, ask me more questions. I would love to do more of these videos on the road. Let y'all get to know me and shit. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Um, you know, talk about talk to y'all personally. Um, I would actually honestly like to do some voice calls and talk to my film material. See what they would like to see on the channel. What more would they like to see? What more would like me to do? I'm open to ideas, guys. I always am. But the last question is from Jake Hall. He says, I got a question. What got you into playing this great game of Yu-Gi-Oh? I think when I was a kid, you know, that was just something you enjoyed watching the show. You enjoyed playing the game. That's just something as a kid. Now, as I got older and, you know, I got in the military and stuff like that, uh, a lot of people ask, why'd you come back into the game? Well, the most part is nostalgia. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is a good scapegoat. I guess is a good way to term. Um, it's a clean hobby, sort of. It can be somewhat of an expensive hobby, too. Because, I mean, it's better than what most people here are doing. No offense to anybody that does these, but it's better than doing drugs and shooting up. I don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a clean hobby. Uh, some people hustle. They actually make money and a life out of Yu-Gi-Oh and other card games. Uh, to me, it's just an amazing hobby. It brings me joy. Um... It really makes you think on your toes. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is actually one of those card games that takes a lot of knowledge and power. Uh, you gotta, you got to mentally know about the game. Uh, actually, next weekend, I actually got a floor judge and help an event with uh, with some other locals and stuff like that. So, I will have a video on like judge discussions and rulings, too. So, I'm kind of do that soon, too. I thought that would be pretty neat. Some people misplay a lot. i got stuff from my locals that misplay a lot. So, that would be kind of cool. But, guys, that is all the questions. Congratulations to James. Man, I can't wait to see you. Maybe even if I do get to see you, I hope I do. But, you know, I love y'all. Don't forget, smash that button, guys. Be one of my fellow materials. And you know what? I'll catch you next time. Love you, guys. Be safe.